All right, guys, on the Bill Show today, I've got a good old-fashioned mock-up for you. We're going to be talking noise control. This is a really big issue, and I've made a lot of videos about controlling noise between rooms in single-family homes in the past. But in this video, we're going to tackle some harder things. Footfall noise, issues from above. This is really a big deal if you're building multifamily houses, if you're building apartments or condominiums. You could even learn something if you're retrofitting. And I would say for all my single family builders, there's definitely some lessons to be learned here as well, because how many times have you built a master bedroom on the first floor with kids' rooms upstairs? Today's build show, all about sound and noise control, sponsored by Keen Building Products. Let's get going. Okay, when we think about noise control, there's really two types of noises that the ASTM standards recognize. And the first one I've talked a lot about, that's the STC, Sound Transmission Classification. Think about a room here and there's a radio going, like upstairs at my house, I've got a boy's bedroom and a girl's bedroom right next to each other. And I knew my boys are gonna be really loud. In that wall cavity between my boy's bedroom and my girl's bedroom on the other side, I was really concerned with making sure that wall was gonna reduce that noise transmitting through. And when you think about that, that's often the STC, that's airborne noise. When you're thinking about STC, oftentimes, and I've made a lot of videos about this, we're adding mass to the wall, we're adding insulation to the wall cavity, uh, and we're really curious, or we're really cautious, I should say, about uh, any air that could transfer between the two. So I've used uh, specialty laminated drywall, I've used multiple sheets of drywall with some specialty products in between it to add mass in between those walls. And then anytime you've got an outlet or any other type of penetration, we're gonna use some special acoustic sealants, putty pads, things like that, to make sure that that noise is not transferring through. But a harder type of noise that I really haven't talked about a lot is this IIC, Impact Insulation Classification. That's footfalls, that's high heels on the floor, dogs walking above, this is a really big deal in the multifamily world. I understand that noise complaints are the second most litigated issue in multifamily construction today. And low frequency noise, that thudding or footfall, is ultimately the biggest complaint. So how do we fix that? Now this needs some mass, yes, but the biggest thing we wanna remember is isolation. We really wanna isolate what's happening up here from what's happening below. So one big, thing that you see a lot, or one method you see a lot in multifamily construction, I've utilized this on some single families as well, is a lightweight gypsum poured concrete floor or lightweight concrete floor on that uh, floor above. This is a simulation, obviously, this is for a trade show demonstration. But what you're seeing here, this triangle would be uh, poured lightweight gypsum or lightweight concrete to add mass on top of the floor. And then here's how we're gonna isolate that. We're gonna use something like this Keen Quiet Curl product. This is basically a 3D mesh type product. Uh, and we've used a lot of 3D meshes from Keen in the past for rain screens, so you kinda know what I'm talking about. It's a black, kind of uh, like a stiff Brillo pad type material. And they're gonna make it in a couple different flavors, including this flavor that has the MT, the muffling technology, kind of this cotton-like bottom on it. And this is gonna act kind of like an isolation spring in between that poured concrete or poured gypsum and the wood framing or concrete framing for that matter that would be below. With the idea being we're going for mass spring mass. Think about those footfalls if I had that pounding noise up here. It's kind of like a clap. When I make a clap, there's this loud banging noise that you hear and if I could isolate my hands from clapping and have that air gap in between, you're not gonna have that happening. That's kind of an analogy for what this quiet curl is doing right here. It's preventing that footfall noise from going down. But we need to be really cautious about the details. You're gonna notice this is also a Keen product right here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Sill Sealer. And what this is doing is it's isolating that gypsum from actually touching the framing up here. So this actually floats all the way on top of this quiet curl membrane so that when you're walking on this floor above, we've got some isolation here. 
Now there's a bunch of different flavors and variety of these. If you look over on the Keen website, you're gonna see that they make this quiet curl uh, in various sizes from an eighth inch thick all the way up to three quarters of an inch thick. The muffling technology, this cotton-like material can actually add up to five points in that IIC ASTM standard. And the reinforcing fabric, you can get this in all the thicknesses. Uh, this is gonna be used when you need additional reinforcing for your poured concrete layer on the top. It's gonna add tensile strength to that. The next thing I wanna talk about is how do we isolate what's below, which is that ceiling. And this has a, this mock-up's actually really nice from Keen. I think they use this at their trade shows. And this is gonna show us typical, you know, half inch or usually gonna use five eighths drywall on the ceiling. So we've got some mass here, but check out these details. You have, you notice that they're not attaching this right to the joist, they're attaching it to an RC channel. And then that RC channel is attached to the Keen uh, silent assurance clips. And then those are physically attached. What's gonna happen is when noises or vibrations are transmitted to this joist and we're trying to hear what's happening above, these clips are gonna help isolate that and then the RC channels are gonna further isolate that by going perpendicular to the joist. Now the RC channels are not made by Keen. This is a, uh, they, they like to recommend Clark Dietrich's uh, RC Deluxe channels. It's a good thick channel uh, that has some good strength and is gonna help you with your IIC classification. But they also make this product over here. This is the uh, space assurance clip because we don't want our vertical uh, drywall, our wall drywall, to actually touch our ceiling drywall. That would transfer that down. So this is kind of a fabric-like material that would get installed before this sheetrock went in so that we can maintain at least an eighth inch gap between our ceiling drywall, our ceiling gypsum, uh, and our wall gypsum. So in combination, now we're actually gonna be able to really severely reduce these. Now, if you go over to their website, they've got all kinds of uh, different rated assemblies. So if you wanted to see how could I get to the highest level of diminishing that footfall noise from one uh, level to another, you could actually pull things from that website and figure out, okay, with this type of flooring, with this thickness of uh, gypsum, uh, poor gypsum or lightweight concrete, Here's how I get to those higher ratings. So I'd encourage you to do that. I'd also encourage you, if you've got a project, reach out to these guys. They've got some great uh, engineers on staff who can help you with their products and with their assemblies. But ultimately, it's all about the details. Good products, if they're installed wrong, you know, if we were to cut this uh, six inches from the edge and install it, if it wasn't installed right, it wouldn't do the intended purpose. So. If you're gonna use these products or another manufacturer's products for that matter, make sure you read the directions, make sure you understand how to install them. And then ultimately the men and women that are on the job site and doing the install, you need to make sure they're trained really well and that you document, take pictures and verify that it was installed. Trust but verify, as my friend Jake Bruton says. If you do need to go back and retrofit, a lot of these same systems could work in a retrofit application including one I forgot to mention. They do make some topical sound mounts as well. They call the Quiet Curl Soft Step that could be used on top here after this assembly was built. Big thanks to Keen for sponsoring today's video. They've got some amazing products in their catalog, uh, including, and I didn't even show you on the back here, uh, they've got some stucco uh, isolation uh, products or stucco rain screen products, I should say, like this one right here that would allow you to stucco the building but still have an air gap behind it. And if you saw any videos from my house, uh, you saw that I just built a shed recently uh, and used some of these products for their rain screen. Super easy to use, very affordable, uh, and really ultimately really pretty straightforward for the men and women on the job site to get those details right. Guys, big thanks to Keen for sponsoring. Follow me on TikTok or Instagram, otherwise we'll see you next time on The Build Show.